Welcome back everybody to another video in the car cave. Today is gonna be a pretty quick one. We're just gonna go and build a Porsche Cayman GT4 on the configurator to kind of go along with the last two videos in the series. So to do that, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go into the Porsche configurator and we're gonna select the 718 and we'll scroll down to the GT4. Now, before we actually get started with building the car, I want to get an understanding of what kind of car are we building. Obviously, it's a GT4, but people use cars for different purposes. What would I use GT4 for? Basically, I just want something that's fun to drive, that I could take out whenever I really please. So I want it to be decently comfortable, uh, relatively easy to drive, and have some of the amenities that I would feel are important, but it doesn't have to be some crazy raw track-focused machine. So bearing that in mind, uh, first decision, arguably the most important, what color? Uh, I really like this GT Silver Metallic. It comes at a bit of a premium, $650, but this is the debut color for the 918 Spider. And since then, I've always kind of wanted a car in that color. Wheels are going to be Satin Aurum to give a nice little contrast to the silver. And on my point about having kind of a nice driving experience, I would do the Race Tech interior with deviated yellow stitching. Uh, it gives it a bit more of a premium feel on the interior. The seats are very nice and comfortable and pleasant to the touch. I would not do the adaptive sports seats. It's basically the same seat. It's just electronically adjustable because once I adjusted once, I'm probably never going to change it again. So I'll save the $2,600. Uh, back to seats, nothing really there. On the exterior, I'm not really going to do too much here either. I'm kind of trying to keep the cost to a minimum because... I don't really see the need to have a very highly spec GT4. So performance, it's kind of tough for me between the six-speed manual and the PDK. I love a six-speed manual, especially with the naturally aspirated flat six. It's just a great, enjoyable drive. But if I am going to be driving it a lot, as I said at the beginning of the video, I would probably go for the PDK just because it's a bit less of a hassle to drive if I'm driving in traffic and whatnot. A chrono package, you get this little uh, analog stopwatch on the dashboard definitely going to want that and the porsche ceramic brakes it's always a tough one for me i would probably not do this they're eight thousand dollars they're great obviously your braking performance is better you basically never have to replace them but again i don't really know if i'm ever going to use what they're intended for so i would probably opt out of that uh headlights i'm going to do the uh, pdls plus to get this really cool look uh, better lights as well, obviously. Uh, comfort and assistance. Preparation for Porsche dash cam. Pre-wiring. So it's not even it's not even an actual dash cam, but whatever. Sure, I'll throw it in there. Uh, if I'm going like a long drive and I want to record it for YouTube or for fun to watch later, I'll probably get a dash cam. So 130 bucks. It's negligible. Uh, interior steering wheel with the 12 o'clock marker in yellow. I would do that because it matches my deviated stitching. Don't need any more of these. Seat belts in yellow, also to match uh, the interior. So we've got these yellow door pulls, yellow stitching, yellow seat belts, all very good. Instrument dials in white. I think I've mentioned this in previous videos. I love a white dial. I don't know why, they just look really good to me. So I would do that. And then of course the, uh, the chrono watch has to, has to match as well. Uh, chrono stopwatch. Uh, fire extinguisher, absolutely, just in case. Uh, interior leather, I'm not really much of a fan of leather in cars. Race tech, we've already got the race tech selected. Carbon fiber, I don't really need it. I don't really, everybody loves carbon fiber. I love carbon fiber, it looks good, but is it really needed? Not really for what I'm gonna be using the car for. And plus this like brushed aluminum look, I, I think it looks really good too. I don't really, I'm not looking at it in disgust ever. So I think it's fine. And now as far as those conveniences, I was talking about smartphone compartment, the Bose surround sound. That's about all I would do. And if you look at it, we're only looking at $14,000 in options, total price of 122,390. That's not too bad. So let's go ahead and enlarge this and take a look at the car. I mean. I think it looks great. It's a really simple look, really simple design. It's not gonna draw too much attention. It's gonna be kind of a timeless and then the a timeless design and then the interior, 
you know, it's just a really nice place to be. It's going to be comfortable. You're going to get that feeling of a premium interior because you got the race tech. Uh, and of course, you've got Alcantara up the wazoo. So in my opinion, this is the perfect GT4 for me. So I'd love to know what you think, what you would do differently. Uh, I always invite you, you know, go to the configurator, build your own car and leave your leave your build code in the comments below so we can all check it out and comment on your designs. So that's it for this video. If you are in the market for a GT4 and you're interested to know whether it's, uh, you know, affordable to maintain, definitely check out my last video on the cost of ownership for a 718 Cayman GT4. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, show your support so I can continue to make content for you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.